ஹானரபிள் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த லெஜிஸ்லேட்டிவ் அசம்பிளி இட் ஈஸ் மை இம்மன்ஸ் ப்ளஷர் டு அட்ரஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் செஷன் ஆஃப் த லெஜிஸ்லேட்டிவ் அசம்பிளி ஃபார் த கேலண்டர் இயர் இன் திஸ் ஆகஸ்ட் ஹவுஸ் ஐ எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் மை வாம் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் ஃபார் த நியூ இயர் அண்ட் தமிழ் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ஆஃப் பொங்கல் டு த பீப்புள் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு அண்ட் டு ஆல் members of this house i whole heartedly wish that this year brings greater happiness prosperity and growth to our state in the last 50 years tamil nadu has grown significantly in multiple sectors to become a pioneering state in the country during the 1960s Tamil Nadu was lagging behind in social, economic, educational and health indicators when compared to other big states. However, today it stands tall as a leader among all states. This is primarily due to the model of Tamil governance built on the pillars of social justice, equality, self respect and rational thinking as a result of the development model aimed at inclusive growth tamil nadu has scored 63.3 marks and ranks first among the large states in the social progress index recently released by the prime minister's economic advisory council based on the study of development status of states This government will continue to march with vigor on the path of this model of development which has ensured the welfare and empowerment of suppressed marginalized and backward sections of the society in the last year and a half our honorable chief minister on his led the government on this development path through his untiring efforts and diligence As a result, Tamil Nadu has been adjudged the best performing big state in India today's recent state of the states survey. This award is a testimony of the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister and the model of development which is founded on the tenets of social justice and inclusive growth. This government's deft management of Mandas cyclone and northeast monsoon minimized damages in Chennai city to a great extent. As a result, major areas of the core city which were severely flooded last year witnessed minimal stagnation during this monsoon. The traffic disruption caused by heavy rains was largely controlled and the city was quickly restored to normalcy i convey my appreciation to this government for its exemplary and effective management of the mandos cyclone and northeast monsoon rains regarding the use of official language this house has already passed a resolution against steps that are detrimental to the interest of all state languages including tamil this government will continue to urge that all state languages should be accorded the official language status several states including tamil nadu had joined the gst regime foregoing their physical autonomy on the assurance that their revenues will be protected however the anticipated revenues were not realized due to the drastic fall in revenues during the covid pandemic this government gives at most importance to the prompt redressal of public grievances in line with its commitment to providing good governance in order to ensure satisfactory resolution of these petitions a monitoring unit has been established due to the economic crisis and resultant food shortage in sri lanka the government of tamil nadu extended humanitarian assistance to sri lankans and sent rice milk powder and life saving medicines worth rupees 174 crore the aid extended by government of tamil nadu in these trying times has been widely appreciated due to the economic crisis of sri lankan tamils have come to tamil nadu and have been 
accommodated in camps where they are being provided with food clothing and basic amenities this government accords highest priority to maintenance of law and order in the state and is taking all necessary measures to ensure that the state continues to be a heaven of peace and tranquility free from any form of violence with utmost concern for the future of our youth the honorable chief minister is determined to crack down on the distribution and consumption of drugs and narcotic substances with an iron hand this government is continuously taking measures to prevent drug smuggling including stringent enforcement of law and awareness creation among people this government accords highest priority for the welfare of fishermen and is proactively undertaking several development schemes tamil nadu has emerged as the forerunner in climate change mitigation in the country in order to provide suitable policy directives on issues related to climate change the tamil nadu governing council on climate change has been constituted with international experts under the chairmanship of the honorable chief minister further to strengthen the state's efforts in climate change adaptation and mitigation a climate summit was conducted by this government in chennai on 8th and 9th december 2022 in a pioneering effort this government set up a green climate fund with a fund size of rupees 1000 crore to support large projects to tackle climate change not limiting itself to only welfare of human beings this government upholds the age old tamil culture of caring and loving in harmony with nature and all living beings thank you